First Space is a roguelite bullet hell waifu pixel art game that I recently played, and I've got to say this game is a ton of fun. What is up my dwellers of the interwebs, I'm Sorosin and this is my first impression on Burst Space. While the game does have a basic story attached to it, the story isn't voice acted or seemed to be very interesting. I wasn't able to find myself sticking to reading the small snippets of story that the game provided between missions, and honestly it just didn't seem that interesting to me. However, if you are interested in the game story, there does seem to be one here, though not very interesting if you ask me. The story parts that play out are very basic in their design, with no live 2D models for the story content, just standard default artwork of the characters in the corner with the text in the middle, kind of like a very basic visual novel. But this game really isn't meant to be played for the story anyway. The true importance of this game is the gameplay. With its super fast and intense gameplay, the game has you swapping between your two weapons weapons on the fly and having you choose upgrades for both weapons every time you clear a stage, before moving on to the next one. The stages are pretty short and there aren't many stages to begin with, but they do get longer as you progress through the missions, and I was expecting something similar for the final mission boss, but I was surprised to find out that the final boss mission was just two stages, a preliminary stage and then the final boss fight, which I was kind of happy about to be honest, since there's so many stages per mission chapter as you progress, it was nice to see that for the final boss, it just got right into it without too much fluff. The bullet hell wasn't too insane like others I've played in the past, I was able to dodge most of the bullets that were thrown my way, and I didn't find it overwhelming, making it a pretty good entry level bullet hell game for those like myself who aren't very used to them. The combat of the game is very easy to pick up, you have two weapon slots that you can swap between on the fly, each weapon has weapon upgrades that you can choose from after a stage clearance, and you also have a dodge and two special attacks, as well as an ultimate that gets unlocked before certain boss fights that seems to be a passive skill that will cast on its own. I found that pretty funny actually because one of the ultimates I unlocked was shooting the boss before the bite had even taken place. The boss introduction splash screen was displayed over the boss, and while that was happening, my passive ultimate was shooting the boss in the background, whittling down its shield before I even was able to control my character. Another neat feature was that you can transform into a different guardian when the ability charges, giving you a new skill to auto use when you transform and a boost. The combat of this game is just so much fun and might be one of the most fun roguelite bullet hell games I've played in a long time. There is even more modes you can unlock including a timed mission mode where if you complete the stage you get some pretty nice first clear items and you can even auto clear old boss fights, which the game calls exploration, for more items as well, though this does cost your stamina, so keep that in mind. The visuals of the game are fantastic too, with its gorgeous pixel art that is highly detailed, so that you can really tell the difference between what each guardian looks like and the weapons as well as just the overall look of the game. This is definitely a very good looking pixel art game. The audio is great too, everything was punchy and had a good sound to it, nothing sounded cheap or like it did didn't belong and I didn't notice any missing audio either. Everything sounded like it did belong and was of a high quality. Overall, I'd say that Burst Space is a super fun roguelite bullet hell game that I would definitely continue to play. It's so much fun and the gameplay is fun and can be challenging too. The waifus look good as well. I do wish there was live 2D models during the conversations. I might have been a little bit more interested in the story content if it did have it, but that's just a small complaint. The rest of the game is so much fun and I highly recommend it. So there you have it, that's my first impression on Burst Space. Thank you for watching, I'm Sorosin, have a fantastic day. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content and hit that bell icon to stay up to date on all my upcoming videos. And if you're watching this on TapTap.io or on the TapTap app, I hope you'll consider following my profile as well. Bye bye!